Okay, check this out. See that like pagoda or I'm sorry, gazebo in front of me? All right, for the last couple years, I've been taking this road oftentimes to go to Seoul Pyeongtaek. And I've seen this park here with all these lotus leaves and all. But I didn't know how to get here. You know, if I was taking the bus, the bus wouldn't stop. And other times I was coming at nighttime, so I never had a chance like during the day to do it. So now I'm here at this lotus park and I want to check it out and I want to bring you with me. Now it's autumn, you know, it's late October, so unfortunately these things are like all dead. And it's a gloomy day, look at this. But hey, it's comfortable outside. I still get a chance to see it. And so let's bring you along. This is one of the reasons I do like Asia, because this is so Asian. So our goal is we're gonna go over there, but we're gonna check out this little park here. You see all kinds of stuff like this in the countryside and little parks like this. They're not exactly profitable. You may not always see a lot of people here. You know, in some ways, to be honest with you, they're kind of like, as we call it in the States, a pork barrel project. But still, some of these are cool. And so, hey, let's check it out. So we're just walking through here and you got your waste bins. Isn't that exciting? Farmland right there for this farmer. Yeah, you can tell a lot of people haven't been here lately. You got the happy couple there with the broken coffee machine. More farmland. You got the Yechon, what does it say? Yeah, Yechon Goon, Yechon County, we'd say in English. This is a water fountain with the lotus leaves. The water should be safe to drink from these if you ever need it. You got a little bit of shade right here. And so typical of like so many of these little parks and trails in Korea, you'll see like exercise machines and stuff out. Honestly, you're not gonna like get buff using these, but you will get, I guess, healthy. And you'll see lots of like older people or, man, how can I put it without making myself sound old? Middle-aged people use these things. Quite honestly, it's not like exactly the most hardcore workout, but you know, hey, it is a workout. Exercise, I've been driving for the last few hours, so why don't I? Take a moment. Oh, I'm on a, I'm holding an iPhone camera and trying to do this at the same time. Maybe get a little exercise here. There we go. Okay, there we go. I'll get some proper exercise later. Nice rock. Sit down on and on. It's pretty cool stuff. You can see people have been walking down here to there yeah lotus leaves I should research those I wonder what like medicinal or edible purposes they have that's something I need to research young young where I'm heading to we have uh, lotus leaves there too at a park Oh yeah, let me show you this. This is a very, very Korean thing. Okay, Koreans are into traditional medicinal healthiness. Which to the average Western person would couldn't be considered torture. Let me give you an example. See all these rocks here? Notice how you got the footprint here? There's a reason for that. Here's what you're supposed to do. You take your shoe off, okay? Like I'm gonna do. Take your shoes off. Now, your job is to walk across this path. Ow! Notice how I said ow? These rocks are supposed to like massage your foot. You know, it's gonna get in there, it's gonna apply pressure, and it's kind of like a massage. And you know, in some ways it kind of feels good occasionally. Oh man! Hear that ow man? I should tell you what I'm thinking. Ah, Kizo Pete! <laughs> yeah, like I said, it would be considered torture by our standards. <laughs> then you see these things here these are not like roadblocks or anything then you put the arch of your foot in there oh yeah okay that's enough torture oh ow 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 i need to clear this path first okay that's enough torture i'm stepping to the side and get my shoes back on yeah i just walked into a spider web good grief they're still out so let me uh 
Sorry for the camera shaking like this. I'm putting my shoes on and doing the same time. Yeah, we got little chiggers and stuff flying around. But see, it's like a cute little butterfly. So yeah, you would just walk on this and torture your feet. I mean, massage your feet in the process. Just like this. All right. That's the main path. So, you know, I don't know how much film time I got left on this iPhone because it is hogging up memory. So let's make it a point to go over here. That's why I came here. Look at this. So look how close we are to get a good grip on my phone here so I don't drop it. Clear water. You can see through that. This lotus pond here. This would be beautiful. Just to imagine if it's like back in September or July or August, all lush and green. It was super beautiful. That's what caught my attention about it. And of course, it's next to a roadway. That's another Korean thing. Some of these most awesome places like next to roadways instead of being like secluded out in the mountains or some other place. Uh, so let's look at the artwork here and the decorations and make sure there's no ambushes. So it says 2009. This is probably when this whole thing was constructed or something. Let me get a good look at this and if you know Korean Feel free to translate and tell me what it says. Well, let me go back, I'm sorry. Okay. Boom. Let's look over here some more. Yeah, pretty nice. I'll be honest, I'm afraid to tilt the lean over too much because I might drop my phone and that would be a very, very bad thing. So you can see how the park extends over next to that greenhouse, the willow tree, and it goes over there. So what I'm gonna do with as much film time as I have left on this camera, let's pick it up. Let's go over here. Let's see what we got. Get like this Korean style gazebo. I like these things. Young Young, where I live, people will actually go camping out on these and stuff. Because the apartments here are honestly so small. And sometimes people just want to get out. They really, and so when it's warm and nice out, boom. They're going to go to these camp out to get away from their families. Yeah, it's no exaggeration. Let me take a moment to explain something. It is honestly no exaggeration to say, see where that tree is right there? Imagine an apartment from there to roughly there where those bushes are. And about from the that railing on the gazebo to here, roughly that size. Now imagine a full family staying in there, like mother, kid, maybe a father. And you can understand why people want to get out. Oh yeah, it's so nice to get out from the car and just go walking, go exploring. I love doing stuff like this. Yeah, I got to do weekly commutes now from home to the west. So I try to turn this into a negative, into a positive, and find cool places to visit. Stop by and film it or, you know, get something educational out of it. Okay, so you can get through the water source is. There. There, there's a canal, greenhouse for farming. Yeah, my good camera, this one, turned out the battery's dead on it, so I can't even use it. So, we're gonna use this iPhone.
Oh yeah, a little tip for you. See this uh, pine-like tree here? You can take these buds and eat them. Mmm, they're very good. You know, obviously it has like the minty taste to it. It's gonna freshen your breath up. It's like a natural breath, fre uh, breath freshener. And it's got vitamins in it. It's really cool. Man, love pine trees. It's good to be back in the east. I'm in Yechun right now. I'm roughly maybe an hour and a half, two hours from home. See, look, we're circling. The car is over there, the black one. That's my car. Let's zoom in, see what's going on over there. Yep, that's my car over there. My hoopty, my jalopy, my cheapo car. But thank God it works. More of the lake here. I don't see any life or anything here. No fish, snakes. Really pleasant place. You know, I can see this being popular like in a city. So you got these like benches and stuff. You got all this nature. People walking around, sitting down. But here, you can see the issue maybe why you don't get so many visitors. Because this is all country. And so you'd have to kind of like, except for a few farmers and people like me. And maybe that lady over there stopping. Most people got to drive through here one way. You got to stop your car and get out and all that stuff. It's not a big place. And it's not the most accessible. But it's okay. I like it. So, you know, hey, just made a little tour of this place. I'm sorry, not a tour. Just made a circle, basically. So, I just wanted to, you know, this is like my first time here. So, you and I together are going to, we did this little tour of this Lotus Park together. And now that I've completed this Lotus Park, I think I'm going to go ahead and shut down this little video. I just want something quick to share with you all. You know, that's, stuff like this is what makes Korea and Asia so special. And it's one of the reasons I like filming this stuff, so I can share it with people back home and educate people about what's here. So, I'm going to conclude this video. I want to thank you all for watching this. I hope you all have a great day and please like, share, subscribe, and hey, please comment. I'd love to get your comments and answer on it. Thank you very much. Out.